Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss no load test and three phase induction motor. So here we have to do some tests on the three phase induction motor. Then we will understand the performance of the three phase induction motor. Up to now we discussed about the working of three phase induction motor and the calculations involved and different parameters are discussed. But, but from this onwards we will discuss the test on three phase induction motor. So the first point the efficiency of large motors can be de determined by directly directly loading them by assuming input and output powers. So for any motor not only the induction motor for any machine two things are important first thing is the in order to understand the machine performance one is the efficiency another one is the regulation these two things are very very important to understand the performance of the any machine here generally the efficiency of large motor by applying directly loading we will get it for large motors for large motors it may difficult to arrange loads them so we have a big motors uh, putting on the loads is very difficult task moreover power loss will be large by direct loading on test so if you are using the high load the power loss is also very very high by direct load this no load and block rotor test we have two tests one is the no load performed on the motors so for any motor to understand this two tests are performed one is no load name itself doesn't have any load blocked rotor itself it is fully loaded block rotor means it is the fully loaded as the name suggests no load test is performed when rotor with synchronous speed there is no load torque that means we have a motor it rotates but it doesn't have any load it is with no load it rotates so the whenever motor have doesn't know it doesn't have any load approximately we taking the speed is equal to synchronous speed this test is similar to the open circuit test on transformer this is a very very important thing so when we are analyzing the transformer characteristics we doing open circuit test the circuit is same also the open circuit test actually to achieve the synchronous speed an induction motor is impossible to speed is assumed to be synchronized but generally never possible uh, speed of the induction motor is equal to synchronous speed it is not it is never possible actually but we are assuming right this test gives the information regarding the no low losses such as core loss frictional loss and windage loss so by doing the no low loss what we are getting no load there is no load so we will get the core loss and frictional loss and the windage losses these three losses can be we can find out by doing the no load test the rotor copper losses at no load is very less that is negligible so rotor copper losses also negligible in this small current is required to produce the adequate torque it requires only the small amount current because there is no load that small amount of current will produce the required torque so this is the basic introduction of the no load test okay the main intention of the no load test is to perform the to get the core windage and frictional losses so this is the diagram of the no load test so we will discuss later the impedance of magnetizing path of induction motor is enough to obstruct the flow of current so we have no load but it has some impedance magnetizing path impedance is available that is enough that means so this path xm is the this path therefore the small current is applied to the machine so due to this it will take small amount of current in the no load condition the drop in the stator impedance values power dissipated to the stator very small comparison of 
applied voltage so here impedance values state r impedance value z1 is small is low and power also state r power will take loss r state r loss is also small it is also a small comparison of applied voltage applied voltage is very high when you compare with the voltage these are the small things therefore the values these values are neglected it is assumed that total power drawn is converted into the core loss here the intention is there is very less current low current less impedance so therefore stator loss is also less so the available loss uh, available power only the complete power is nothing but the core loss the complete power is nothing but the gives the core loss here the intention the air gap in magnetizing branch in an induction motor slowly increases the exciting current and no loss theta r i square r loss can be recognized so generally we have a less air gap is available it has it will take it will produce some magnetizing current if the air gap is increases then automatically the magnetizing current value increases the no load theta r i square r loss can be recognized from this we will get the i square r loss the current should not be exceed its rated value therefore the rotor accelerates beyond its limits otherwise so keep in your mind rotor rotor beyond its rated never going beyond its rated value rotor has some rated value current sorry the current has beyond its rated value otherwise it accelerates high okay the test performed at fully phase voltages and rated frequency applied to the stator voltage that means we are applying different different voltages and different different frequencies to the stator terminals then we will get this so if you observe this diagram in this diagram this is the rotor this is the stator we are applying three phase supply to the stator so the if you take the voltage between the two phases that is give the voltage and for any branch it will give some current so to get the power we were using the two watt meters w1 and w2 the combination of w1 and w2 it will give the total input power applied to the uh, three phase induction motor and the total voltage applied to the three phase induction motor this is the total current okay yes yeah here if you observe here if you observe here when we are applying on the test the equivalent circuit will become like this the stator supply voltage is v1 and stator have resistance r1 inductance x1 and the stator copper losses represents with rc and this is the magnetizing current okay the total current entering into the stator is i1 and there is no rotor because it is a no load no load means rotor doesn't have any current okay and the to the current i1 will be divided into two parts that is the core loss component and second one is the magnetizing component im is the magnetizing component okay so if you discuss about the calculation the total input power the total input power is applied to the induction motor is we can take like this so it is a no load power we can assume as a w not that will give the root 3 and v1 will take current as assumed as i not and the cos phi not so this i1 is nothing but same uh, what is the total input power here this is the combination of w1 plus w2 the two powers it will give the two powers okay so you know the v1 is the applied voltage i1 is the no load input current yeah so you know this is the v1 this is the i1 and i0 both are same here both are same so how we will get the rotational losses from the rotational losses rotational loss we will get 
we are getting the w1 by doing the s1 what is s1 by removing from w0 we will get rotation losses s1 equal s1 just take it as state or winding losses state or winding has some loss we will remove this state or winding losses okay but what is the state or winding loss generally the state or winding loss is represents with state or winding loss is uh, represents with 3 i naught square into r1 i naught square means so you can don't confuse here i1 i naught both are same by doing this 3 i naught square into r1 we will get state or copper loss here what is i naught i naught is no load current no load input current and r1 resistance of the motor resistance of motor okay so from this we will get core loss so what is the core loss directly we will get the core loss have some value by doing this the remaining loss is the core loss so core loss we can write the formula that is 3 g naught into v square g naught into v square g naught is the conductance into v square we will get the core loss from the circuit analysis okay this is the procedure to do the no load test so simply no load means just simply observe here no load means so i will i will give the information here no load test means current is zero current is zero means i square or loss is also zero what is the remaining loss the loss is the core loss so this is the procedure to find out the core loss or no load test on the three phase induction motor i hope all of you understand this session thank you